Let's look at business now where African countries should collaborate to ensure effective implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Speakers at the conference uh, of the implementation strategies says the deal holds the promise for the continent uh, to overcome the colonial legacy of small and fragmented markets and replace them with a single market of over 1.4 billion people. Established in 2018 as negotiated by member states of the African Union, the African Continental Free Trade Area is an agreement seeking to create conditions for the free flow of trade without barriers. Close to 69% of Africa's growth drives from consumption, domestic consumption. And the African uh, population is a major consumer. So all we need to do is organize ourselves in manufacturing, in the trade, in transport and communications, and other areas to ensure that we create an integrated market. And that market is going to grow. And when it is going to grow, it's going to be res resilient to the disruptions going on around the world. But at the end of the day, the success of the AFCFTA for the African people will only happen if the African taxpayers are also ready to finance the implementation areas where they are going to reap the most, the most gains. So far, 31 countries have ratified the African Continental Free Trade Area and are now calling on the remaining to do so to liberalize Africa's trade. Uh, most of countries had, had committed already to liberalize within five years, others within 10 years, and others within 13 years. So if you count down, we have not reached the point where uh, countries have fully uh, liberalized trade. 47 have already ratified, though uh, 54 have signed, but 47 have completed the legal process. Now, out of those 47, 31 are already trading. The Commission says creating a common currency for Africa would help the continent save about $5 billion in card in forex exchange. Perhaps we'll be able to transact any African local currency in a convertible way from Kenyan shilling directly to Ghana City. That's number one. But number two, perhaps we reduce the time it takes to make a transaction from Kenya to Ghana by reducing it to less than an hour. It will be instant transaction. And that settlement system has been established. Uh, many countries have already uh, switched to it. We have about uh, nine African countries that are implementing it and the number is increasing. The three-day conference seeks to identify new opportunities and priority areas for effective implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area. Trevor Ngendo for KBC Channel 1.